Now you've seen how the power angle changes uh, by core region in some of the other videos. We're going to look at the position at the top. Now your upper core player has their arm position and the delivery position is a little behind to the side. Mid core is on the side and lower core is elbow is in on this right hip. Okay? So we go from a little side um, on the side to behind, on the side for mid core, and then your lower core here. The ability to place your arm in that position, the downswing, that trail arm, has a lot to do with your stance width and your uh, shoulder external shoulder rotation. So we're going to look at that now. I'm going to show you how, show you how that changes by core region. So Cove, just stand tall, relax. Look straight ahead, and I'm just going to rotate. You see how shallow Colby's angle is here? Uh, he's on, uh, what are you in, Colby? Just relax. Just relax. What number are you on? Nine. So he's in his upper core, right? Upper core stance with. Okay, stay right there. So you want to run this down the forearm. Colby is 160, okay? We have Colby's number set up right here as well. So Colby, one step back to nine here. I want you to bring your arm 90 degrees, keeping facing that mirror straight ahead. So we're going to bring your arm up 90 degrees. Okay. Let's get your shoulder straight ahead and your arm out here. You ready? Yep. Now show me how far back you can. Okay, got it? Yeah, about. Okay, we're going to bring your arm over this way. So Colby's ability to, it's exactly the same as his power angle here. So what I've done is. Set this up, Cole. Let's bring your arm back here. And keep your shoulders straight ahead. Straight ahead. We want you at 90 degrees, facing ahead. Now show me how much. There you go. So what Colby has is 160 degrees. The same. Okay, Cole, let's go back over and we're going to measure your mid core. So 160 is Colby's upper core. Go to number five. Mid core. Okay. And zero over here. There you go. Stand tall, look straight ahead, and relax. Your shoulder okay? Yeah. <laughs> so you can notice now, if you remember, we have a little more space between uh, Colby's wrist and uh, uh, his uh, hip line. So we're increasing the angle here. So as he moves from the upper core to the lower core, his angle increases. Do that one more time. There we go. So what I'm doing, I've set the bubble, and then I run the uh, digital protractor down his forearm. Colby's at 155 here, so he's gone five degrees. Come on back to number five here, Colt. <clears throat> so that we're right in the middle of his core. He's gone from the uh, neck to mid core and uh, cold shoulders facing that mirror. Let's bring this arm up 90 degrees. Keep your shoulders this way. Now show me how much you can rotate that. Point. Okay, there you go. You can see that Colby now has. Uh, you got any more? There you go. 155 degrees. So his ability to set this arm uh, shoulder rotation is greater <clears throat> and it goes with his core region. Okay, Cole, let's go to one. Okay, stand tall. And again, you can see that Colby has a good bit more space. That was his mid core. Now we're going to upper, I mean to lower. And his lower core number is 150. Okay, so you've got about five degrees between each core region. So let's go to number one. He's now in the pelvic floor. That's what we've measured in terms of his power angle. Same thing, Cole, bring it up. And show me, or keep your shoulders straight ahead. And show me how much shoulder, there you go. You can see how much more shoulder rotation Colby has. And he's right at 150 here. So... You're, when you're looking at shoulder rotation, if Colby's a low core player, the ability to put that elbow in the in the 
inside the hip is important. As an upper core, he's going to tend to be more out. Mid core, he's going to be right on the side. So, if if Colby is an upper core player uh, or a lower lower core player, let's say, is trying to set this elbow in, but he's on an upper core stance, with, he wouldn't be able to do that. Colby is an upper core player. 